Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna rank every single level 20 weapon in Castle Crashers from S to F tier. Okay, let's go. So first we got the dual prong sword, and I'm gonna put this in S tier because in my opinion it's one of the best weapons in the game. It gives 3 attack, 3 defense, and it has crit, which is insane for level 20. Next we got the log. I really like the log, but it takes away 3 agility, but I think I'm still gonna put it in A tier because of the plus 5 attack and defense. Give it the ugly mace. This is an easy D tier. I mean, it's a really bad weapon. It gives 6 defense and crit, but it takes away 2 magic. And if you want to get a defense weapon, just use the necromancer sword. That's why I'm putting it D tier. Okay, we got the Skeletor Mace. This is also a pretty bad weapon. Put it D tier. It gives 5 defense, 3 agility, but it does take away 3 strength, which is why I'm putting in D tier. Okay, we got the Snakey Mace. Okay, Snakey Mace is also really good. I think I'd put in A tier because it gives so much magic. It gives like 5 magic. It also gives 3 agility, but it does take away 2 defense, so that's why I'm leaving it at the edge of A tier. Okay, we got the Black Morning Star. This weapon's pretty awful. I mean, the only good part is it has a really high crit chance, so I think I'll put in like C tier because it does take away 3 strength. Okay, we got the King Staff. I'm going to put this S tier. It's really similar to the Dual Prong Sword, but instead of a crit, it gives plus 2 magic, which I think is a little worse, but still really good overall. Okay, the Ninja Sai. This is going to be F tier. Just terrible weapon. I mean, it gives like 6 agility, and it does have a small crit chance, but like, do you really need 6 agility? And it also takes away 2 defense, I think, which is why it's in F tier. Okay, we got the Meat Stick. Okay, this weapon's actually pretty slept on. If you're using like an agility strength build, it's actually really good, because it gives 4 strength and agility. The only downside is it takes away 2 magic, but I'm still gonna put in B tier. Pretty solid. Okay, we got the Necromancer Sword. This is an A tier, I mean, the only reason I wouldn't put it higher is because in insane mode defense isn't as good since you're hitting people more than you get hit and most enemies will like one to two shot you anyways but for normal mode it's really good so a tier okay we got the ice sword this is another f tier this one is just terrible it gives you two magic and like a percentage to freeze enemies when you hit them but really two magic for a level 20 weapon like come on now easy f tier Okay, we got the glow stick. Another pretty mid weapon. It does give 5 magic and defense, but it takes away 4 strength, which is crazy. So I'm gonna put this, I think I'm gonna put in D tier. Probably right here is good on D tier. Okay, we got the dragon sword. Not too bad of a weapon. It gives plus 2 magic, agility, and strength, and can set enemies on fire sometimes. It's not the best, it's not the worst. I think I'd put it B tier. And we got the wooden spoon. I mean, this is also a really mid weapon. All it does is give 2 strength, defense, and agility. And for level 20, that's pretty disappointing. I think I'd put it at C tier. And that's the finished list. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. And also, let me know what other things I should rank in tier maker. Anyways, thanks for watching.